my toilet and that little gravelly patch next to the garden shed. <laughs> I hail McVivian that shall be king of the whole house hereafter. Are you suggesting that I murder Mike, Rick and Neil in order to have the whole house to myself? Yeah! It's a thought, I suppose. <laughs> Make a great play! 27, 28, 29... Look out! Hello, Mommy. Hello. 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 Oh. Take my coat, please. Come in. This is my house where I live. Oh. These are my friends. This is Rick. He's studying sociology. Oh. Hello. Pleased to meet you. <laughs> so, so many essays to write. <laughs> My arms aren't falling off. That's they are. Look out! Boom! Oh, you have to look out for me because I'm a bit nutty. Aren't I, everybody? A bit nutty. Hello. Oh, and uh, this is Mike. He's studying. Uh, um... well, I'm in what you'd call the school of life, Mrs. Pine. <laughs> oh, yeah, Neil. What a ghastly smell! Yeah, uh, that's Vivian, Mummy. <laughs> He's going to be a doctor. Oh. <laughs> How do you do? Oh, fascinating! <laughs> I think I'd better be sick. <laughs> and is this fellow another of your colleagues? Oh, no, uh, that's the most violent and highly dangerous... <laughs> that's Neil's little joke, sir. <laughs> Brian, Brian Damage, are uh, currently working on my uh, PhD in uh, astrophysics, actually. Uh, <laughs> but uh, recently I did uh, work on a degree in art history, but uh, it was no use for a job, you well, know. What kind of a job had you in mind? Oh, something like a bank job, you know. <laughs> nice, safe job. Yeah, possibly, possibly. <laughs> bed. No, no, I bought it. Uh, <laughs> exactly. Now, your mother and I are very disappointed by all this, Neil. You have brought shame on your family, Neil. I don't show my face at Lady Fanshawe's bridge evenings, now that you've taken up with those television people. I mean, what sort of monsters are you? I mean, the young ones. Well, it all sounds very good, doesn't it? But just look around you. It's trash! Even, even Triangle has better furniture than you do. I think you'll find that was specially designed to fall apart like that, Mrs Pye. Rick was going to get hit over the head with it in the next scene. I thought you'd be like, glad, you know, that I was doing something you know, worthwhile. Worthwhile? I mean, it's a bloody outrage. It, it's a waste of a licensing fee. Oh, pardon my French. Why can't you be in one of those decent situation comedies that your mother likes? And, uh, what's the thing called? Plain Chill! That's the one. So that's settled then. We'll organise a protest against school uniforms. Great. We can use the banners left over from the last protest we organised so that racism wouldn't be an issue in this school. Good. Then that's what we'll do. I'll get Maka, Trucker, Ducker and Sucker. You get Spaz. <laughs> but I am Spaz. Oh. oh, well, I'd better get Spaz as well then. But we've got to hurry. Oh! Sorry, Mr Liberal. We were in a hurry. And our new pair of young Ruffy tearaways. Don't you realise the way you act is influencing millions of children to talk cockney and be insubordinate? Oh, come on, sir, don't be silly. We're the only kids in Britain who never say... You must be talking nonsense. I don't watch that ghastly program. Uh, I'm sorry, my dear, it was my mistake. I, I meant uh, the good life. Oh, yes, that's the one. <laughs> Bloody butt nuts, that's what! They're nothing but a 
literary stereotypes confirming the myth that everyone in Britain is a lovable middle class eccentric and I hate them! It was a highly articulate outburst, Vivian. I only hope they're not watching. Well, you can just shut up, Vivian. You can just about blum and well shut up. Because if you've got anything horrid to say about Felicity Kendall, <laughs> you can just about blum and well say it to me first, all right? <laughs> well, I just did. Oh! Oh, you did, did you? Well, I've got a good mind to give you a bloody good punch on the bottom for what you just said. <laughs> You're talking about the woman I love. Yeah, and me, I love her too. <laughs> Yes, well, I agree with the spotty twerps on that one. <laughs> Felicity Kendall is sweetly pretty. Just what a real girl should be. I mean, speaking as a feminist myself, I can, <laughs> say, I can safely say this. That Felicity Kendall is a wonderful woman, and I want to protect her. Ah, well, it's the first time I've ever heard it called that. <laughs> <laughs> say something. Shut up, Vivian, that's my dad you're talking about. Did you see that episode where the pig was going to have a baby? Now, that was quite a promising idea. But it was all done so bloody nicely. We didn't see anything. Even the policeman was nice. All right, why shouldn't the police people trade us nice occasionally? You trendy students always giving us a bad name. Well, you mean like big jobbies? Oh, right, now you've really asked for it. Well, let me assure you, I would not have done that to you if you'd been Felicity Kendall. God, are you all right? Uh, was that silly cow? She smashed the special balsa wood chair earlier on. Well, none of this would have happened if you'd been doing a nice programme like The Good Life. Right, that's where we'll put the row cabbages. Okie dokie, my key, young sonny Jim, follow me, lad. <laughs> And that's where we'll put a row of collies. Aha! Just wait one moment, Michael. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> Very funny, Vivian. Well, you might have laughed, Michael. It took me ages to raise that pet shop and lay them off that plane. Emma, the timeless wonder of the English countryside. <laughs> Good grief, Christine. It'd be pretty bloody super to have a snog in a place like this. What do you think, Neil? Well, I don't feel like it, actually, Rick. Really. I've got a lot of work to do. Not with you, you sick pervy. I meant with a pretty bloody super girly who's on for an amazing bit of rumpo. I've ploughed this bit, right? And now I'm going to sew it. <laughs> 